Hello, great people, African traveler again. I hope you watched our last video, the beautiful, beautiful uh, city of Kisumu. And right now, we are heading back to Nairobi from the last video. <laughs> and um, I've really never showed you guys at the stretch, let's say from past Kisumu all the way to, let's say, Kericho. And the last time I used this road, it was at night and it rained, so I only showed up for Kericho. So I'm trying to show you the small urban areas and uh, probably main economic activities. Are. So we are in Oroe right now. Let's see, this is Oroe. Some of the main and uh, small towns uh, around all this stretch from here to Kericho. And uh, the main economic activities that you can see as we head back to Nairobi. So that probably some of you have never been here, you can familiarize yourself with. And those who are coming from this area, it's been years before you came here, get a chance to see uh, your areas and your urban areas, how they've grown. And from the people from the area, just leave a like, subscribe and share. Korowe Primary School. There's a very nice hotel here. I don't know, most people don't really like to live, to come and bask on this, in the city center, sometimes it's too hectic. Just look at that. This is beautiful. This is a resort. Very nice in the middle of a village. It's just like 20 minutes drive to Kisumu. Very quiet, quiet and serene place. A lot of school. I see a lot of school along the road. And the place is super green. Guys, those are rice farm plantation. Just look at that rice on this side as well. A lot of rice plantation. Huge, huge chunks of rice plantation. Wow, feels like Moya. This is huge chunk of land just filled with rice. Rice across. Wow. So we are in a hero. A hero dollar. A hero. This is the famous a hero. And it's almost 4 p.m. So pardon us, we don't really have so much time to stop. Because as you can see the clouds, they may fall anytime. I hope we get invited again get the opportunity to show you guys so I head to Kisumu is super close less than 30 minutes very very close there's a very big school here a hero this is a very famous place with rice wow a lot of bikes here <laughs> a lot of bike and motorcycles <laughs> I don't know, there's a big river here. Which river is this? So there's an interchange here. It's probably a bypass. There's, an inter there's a very big interchange under construction here. As you can see, there's some within a hero town so almost from the main town is like a kilometer and a half you can see a lot of activities in today's on a sunday but they already you can see trucks the caterpillars all over the area so the other thing i've noticed about this place is um we have a lot of cattle right? so this is kericho moroni omet Summit on 17 kilometer, 60 kilometer carriage. So there are a lot of cows on the road. Like the whole stretch is full of cows. If not zebu, I'm sure probably most of them are. They're not graded cows. And there's a culture of, uh, you know, whereby you just tie a cow uh, on, a, on, on a tree or something and they, they just graze. Uh, around that place then you move them to another place. I don't know what type of grazing is that. That is what I've observed around uh, during my trip to this side of, uh, of the country. And uh, 
apart from the rice, the most the, 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 the other thing that is majorly grown here is trees. Huh? I don't see a lot of maize. I don't see a, a, other crops as much. And I'm told it's because there's a lot of water underneath. So I'm not really sure that why that that, that affects what. Because uh, hardly have I seen any other crop uh, being grown uh, near Kisumu, and that is I went up to Yala. Same. Right now we're in Ahero. The only thing I've seen is rice, which is super nice. Other than that, trees. Like uh, I was just told, like trees is what they really plant here, and they do well here. Especially trees that really consume water. Uh, a lot of water like eucalyptus so if you plan to be rich in 10 years in, uh, in 20 years time just come here and buy a big chunk of land and plant eucalyptus they fetch a good sum of cash for those who know just look at water everywhere uh, the water is just above the ground and, uh, it's like a swampy area I think this soil in most part like here what I see is loamy soil it's water and water and water I can see sugar cane right now wow just changed in a snap of a finger and everywhere right now is sugar cane this is beautiful and we still have a lot of water beneath so, which means that basically the other areas we still can plant a lot of sugar cane. Wow. Just look at that plantation. It's a huge plantation of sugar cane. Everywhere sugar cane. I don't know why some people don't plant. I don't know if it's because of the sugar cane scandals across the country and prices. But if you import sugar cane, I don't know why. I hope the current president will focus on, you know, reviving such industry in this area. I love to see something on the farm. Anytime I see very green arable land without some, without nothing, I always feel so much pain. Just look at this is a, this is a truck full of sugar cane. Whoa, and there's so many of such here. Like from all the way from Kisumu to this place, the terrain looks exactly the same. But past the hero to the other side, there's literally nothing on the farm. I would really love to know why. I would really, really love to know why. This is Awasi. Awasi. For those who've heard Awasi, is also a um, slightly medium urban center on your way to Kisumu from Nairobi, especially from Kericho to Nairobi. This is Awasi. You can see everything here is uh, littered with sugar cane. So, which basically tells you sugar cane is the crop here, and the hair it was the rice. Must be there is something probably different with the, with the soil towards from Ahero to Kisumu, and here I don't know. But I can say here there's a slight gradient, it's slightly raised compared to the other area. From Kisumu all the way here it feels like you are slightly climbing. Chemelil to the other side. The road to the left leads to Chemelil. A lot of sugar plantation also on the other side. Awasi. So for those who've heard Awasi, Tuko Awasi Machama. Awasi PAG boys. Nani alikula vitabu hapo? Nani alikula vitabu awas? Let's look at this humongous truck full of sugar cane. So heavy. Sugar cane. Sugar cane. As you can see, we started seeing escarpments, valleys. The environment is changing, the type of soil is changing, bit by bit. The further you move, you can feel the change of the type of plants, the vegetation, bit by bit. And this is something I really enjoy. Seem to see a sugar. 
sugar factory the sugar factory I don't know if you can see it from there changing as we pro as we head towards Nairobi you can see the vegetation the landscape the soil the vegetation like there's a lot of change the crops being grown like so vivid yeah? even though the temperature like it's cold here you can see every almost everybody everyone has a very heavy cloth on bit hilly here and this and you can see also the people uh, and the way they dress the coat it's a bit different you can tell it's clearly Kalenjin community uh, we're in Kalenjin territory right now I can start seeing maize on the hill and a lot of sugar cane just check out it man check, check that out Super nice guys, the road is super nice. Ooh. We're literally climbing towards Nairobi. <laughs> so I uh, hey to visit Panda. So this is Kaitui. Kaitui. Guys, this place feels like heaven. Like it's beautiful. rains a few minutes ago as you can see the road so you can see sugar cane sugar cane sugar cane like that is the main cash crop of this area all the way to Awasi past Mohoroni we passed Mohoroni guys Kabokiak something like that very hard very hard name here just look at this beautiful place guys wow a lot of bananas, a lot of bananas. It's raining here. It's drizzling. 
the advantage of uh, this hilly area is the climbing length. As you can see, the majority of this area has a lot of climbing lengths, making it easier to move. Samutet. Kalenjin names are really hard to read. <laughs> it's like uh, Italian. Kennegut, Kennegut. Now we can see tea leaves. Man, I'm just loving this adventure. <laughs> the higher you go, everything changes. Wow. Just look at the vegetation now. Slightly different. Interesting. This is amazing. We we'll still have some mm, sugar cane. I think it's on the borderline where you have tea and sugar cane. Capsoit. Oh, this is a major center, yeah? Capsoit. Feels like a very busy small town. So eat. I think this is the first bigger town from Kisumu. I think it's the biggest than Nahero or Wase. Now I took a reach up. A reach up. So eat secondary school. Nani ali kula di tabu hap. Like every time I pass, I come this side, it's always raining. Check oh, that. Wow, nice town. <laughs> Love this town. Check that. Check that primary school. If you know, you know. The final. I think the last bit of the road construction expansion uh, is being done here as you can see um, there's a uh, joining the road to Kericho um, and you can see the huge tea plantation now that tells you in Kericho huge huge tea plantations it's humongous every time I come to Kericho it's raining every time I don't know we have to dedicate a day for Kericho because uh, uh, up mostly from 3 p.m. <laughs> it's tricky. Tricky, tricky, tricky. And this is the uh, last bit of the road and the construction. So, as you see, guys, the, the, the road is uh, under construction. an interchange what you see here is a bit of an interchange we're finally in the green town of Kericho oh the tea town of Kericho this is the town because I'm super hungry we will have to stop by and grab something so we are finally in Kericho town Kericho Reach off. Madhu has to do some road jots. This is the way to the city, to the main bus stop. You can reach the town itself. All this side, all this side.
we'll still find time to as I said we have to come here in the morning it goes basically after three every time most of the time it rains so we'll have to make time on a specific day we come and shoot the whole time so so we're going to wrap up uh, our visit for today we had to stop somewhere to eat because we're really uh, hungry so right now it's 6 16 p.m. and uh, it's time for us now to hit the road Jack <laughs> we gotta hit the road now and no more focus on the camera so as I said um, it needs a lot of um, early preparation I don't know what is this looks really nice so that we can come and show you guys Kericho town in a good way and I'm sure so many areas around this area and yeah read that we say goodbye don't forget to subscribe like and share and it's really cold that's why you see how you see us with very heavy jackets from a very hot city to a very cold town so within the same day that's why they say Kenya is one of the most dynamic country in terms of weather in the world so don't forget to subscribe like and share peace out and the teachers training college. Bye guys. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.